so I'd like to present on an ongoing study <coughs> which is done together with reindeer researchers at the SLU, the Scandinavian Brown Bear Research Project, and of course the two Sami villages, Utsha and Gällivare Skogs, in Norrbotten in Sweden. And first I'd like to introduce you to bear female 241, which is one of the 30 bears that we have radio colored in these two Sami villages. And we equipped them with a GPS radio collar that can communicate with the reindeer collars. And we have put these kind of simple UHF collars on a little bit more than 4,000 female reindeers in these two villages over the period of the last four years. And this photo is taken during the annual pregnancy test where we test the the pregnancy of the female reindeer with ultrasound and also equip them with the colors. And as far as we know, this is the first time when bear 241 and this reindeer 84 meet. And as you see, when the bear comes within 100 meters from the reindeer, its GPS transmitter is told by the reindeer transmitter to take one position every minute instead of two positions every hour. And that gives us a more detailed track log to follow up and visit in the field. And in this case, the bear killed the calf of this reindeer 84. Stayed there for about an hour and fed on parts of the body and then walked away. And when the bear moves away from the carcass, we go in to document what has happened. So we're often there within some hours of the bear leaving. This is by no means a unique event. So if we zoom out, and here I have delineated the Sami village of Utsha, west from Jokmok, and removed all the bear positions outside the Sami village, because of course the bears move outside of the Sami village as well. But it's just inside here that we have the radio colored reindeers. And we have another summer village just like this, east from Gällivare. And what you see here is, these are the GPS positions. Every color represents one individual brown bear. And the stars represent reindeer calves killed by these GPS colored brown bears. And this is from the season of 2011, I think. And what we see is that this range where the reindeer calves are killed is not evenly distributed over the area or the time. It's the last weeks of May and the first days of June. And the reindeer females follow the melting snow westwards. And this year it was quite a warm spring, so mid-May. It was free of snow all the way up here. So then the female reindeer gave birth to their calves here. The year after, 2012, it was a late spring. And then the females gave birth to their calves here. And we have seen no evidence of the bears migrating with the reindeer herds. So if you're a bear, some years you're lucky to have calving reindeer females within your home range, and some years you're not. And we have not seen any individual differences in how prone or eager the brown bears are to kill reindeers. It seems more to be a function of the number of days that you have female reindeer calving in your home range. This is Rune, the chief of the Utsha Sami village, lying here watching his reindeer. And the four years that we have been studying reindeer and brown bear in his Sami village, brown bears have been killing around 40% of the calves that are born each year. And they have around 1,000 pregnant females. So they get around 1,000 calves every year. And 
400 of those are killed by brown bears each year. And the compensation they receive from the Swedish government is for seven reindeer calves. So there is some discrepancy here. And I do not wish to exaggerate, but I would say that this causes some friction. And as I said, this predation is limited in both space and time. So what we have seen, and this is data from all our years, is that during the first days of May, no reindeer calves are killed by our, our GPS colored bears. And after the first week of June, no reindeer calves are killed. So it's basically during this period. Actually, eight days after the last calf is born, we have not been able to document any brown bear killed reindeer calves. So one intervention that we have been assigned to test in order to reduce the number of brain reindeer calves killed by brown bears is calving inside the pens and releasing the reindeer calves here when they're outside this window of predation. And we have tested this in several pens with different densities of reindeers and numbers of reindeers. And what we can conclude is that we when we have them in large pens, but in relatively large densities, like here we had 1,000 females on just two square kilometers. Although it's quite cheap to run this operation, calf mortality is just as high as in the control group outside that are exposed to bears, because these ones, they live under conditions resembling the ones that human refugees live inside camps, which means calf mortality is 30 or 40 percent here as well. While when we have bigger pens, calf mortality varies between 1 and 4 percent, while no calves are killed by brown bears. So during the coming two years, we'll continue with these calving inside pens, but we'll also go on testing the effect of culling or reducing brown bear predation by using MMS game cameras, where we attract bears to certain locations. And when we get an MMS picture showing that a bear there, we go there with trained dogs and shoot the bears. And we use both the commercial product as an attractant and the old traditional Swedish rotten herring. And I suspect what people will remember from this project when we're going is that we finally found a rational use of this <laughs> food dish. Thank you. <laughs>